Hello, I am Klaus. It's so nice to see all of your lovely faces back here at the channel, ready to learn something new about DaVinci Resolve. So in today's episode, I want to chat with you about what if you have flickery footage and how to fix that without using any plugins at all, because maybe you are in a hurry to deliver a project and you do not have time for these long render times. So how do you do that without no plugins? Let's figure it out right now. Okay, so um, let's have a quick look here. We have a shot here. And as you see, it is pretty flickery. So how can we fix that without any plugins? Simply by pushing Alt and dragging up, you'll do a copy of that, and then you'll move that one frame forwards. And let's go to the inspector, and let's just do the opacity to 50, just like that. Okay, and if we look at the clip now, you'll see that the flicker has been reduced. It's not totally gone at all. Okay, we'll just, I'll just push D and hide the layer so you can actually see the difference here. Yeah, it's pretty noticeable. And it's a quick way of doing it, but this was one type of flicker. This was just caused again because it's slow motion. Um, of course, we can also, by the way, use the effects libraries plugin, the dflicker one, which is in DaVinci Resolve 15. It's a new tool. Um, I do not know if this will be in the free version actually, but um, I'm using the studio version. So in here it is. So if we just add that and go to the inspector and we have to, of course, select the right clip, which will help us a bit. Go to the uh, open effects and just ch change it to Flomo light. And then you'll see what that did just very quickly. So let's uh, have a look again here. Okay, let's turn off the effect and let's just turn on this one and go to the second clip. And as you see on this clip, the flickery problem is the backlight, these light bulbs here in the back. And um, again, it's a low light shot and that there is some problems with that as well, but let's do the same trick again. Let's move it one frame. And let's go up and again change it that to 50%. And let's have a look if that did anything to that um, shot. And the types of flicker for these four shots I have are different. Like the first one was like a yellow light outside. This one is inside. Again, every time you shoot something in slow-mo, you might have this occurring with the flicker because of the how long time it takes for the light to recycle or start over again. It's just uh, the hertz frequency. Okay, and this shot, it's uh, kind of dissimilar. It's shot in a store window, as you can see on the glasses. We have the store window right there, and that is the light source. And again, if we do the exact same thing here, by taking the clip, move it in one frame, going to the inspector and then change the opacity to 50. We'll see that it actually did a pretty good job. I'll just toggle it off here so you can see as well. Okay, and then the last shot is like, um, it's a concert. Uh, and it's state slides, and there, as you see, there, those flickers are a bit different. They're more liney towards the horizon. But let's try the trick one more time. Again, these types of flicker just really occurs when there's an old state light here and mm -hmm. some new LED lights, and it just create these flickers, and it looks terrible, so it's super nice to remove them. And as you see, already by using this trick, it has already eliminated that flicker quite a bit. Okay, and let's toggle it on again. Yeah, pretty good. So now I just 
quickly want to show you all four shots of course first here with the normal here with the copy trick applied and of course here at the end with the deflicker added from the result and you can then see the difference in all the shots and here with the deflicker and again the one with the store window here with three different uh, in three different versions and here we have the concert shot so i mean sometimes you just don't have time to do a lot of rendering so it's pretty nice in that way anyway if you found this video useful please hit that subscribe button give the video a like share it with your friends if you think it will help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on our channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time keep filming keep learning and keep sharing